read with whole hearts. So we're going to offer a, a Misha Beira. And when we think of this prayer, we often think of praying for those who are sick. But when we frame it, we often also refer to the idea that we are praying for healing of our minds, of our bodies, and our spirits. And I know that for many of us, um, we are worried about the healing of the bodies of those people who are affected by this disease and praying for the protection of those who are working on the front lines and putting themselves at risk. But we're also all struggling with our own situations, our own mental situations, our own emotional situations. And so we're going to pray um, for the healing, not only of those whose bodies are afflicted, but for all of us, for the healing of our strength, of our spirit, and for our community. So this is a prayer for healing written by a colleague of ours named Todd Herzog. Help us renew our faith. Grant us a perfect healing. Bring peace to our lives. Restore our strength of body. Help clarify our mind. our tired spirits, rejuvenate our light. these blessings throughout our days and nights we celebrate the journey the precious gift of life all find healing in these days and may all those who are healing others be protected and feel our strength being with them. Thank you, Cantor Lucy. Before we uh, get to our next prayer where we're going to really pray for all of those on the front lines, um, we uh, gave you a little task which was to make a sign and uh, I, we wanted a chance to actually see our sign. So I want to um, first invite everyone, if your camera's off, you can just turn your camera on and you don't have to have a sign. You can uh, just show us your beautiful faces. But I want to um, I want to make sure that we get a great picture of all of us holding up our signs. So if you can hold up your sign, you can see them all. I see lots of, oh, look at those. I see some kids holding up signs. So while there's, we have a nice group here, but I want to say, um, I see uh, maybe our youngest participant, I think it's Todd. I see a little, a new life that was just brought into this world. I wonder what your sign says. Maybe you need your mom or dad to help you talk, but I wonder if you want to tell us. <laughs> yeah, it says, uh-uh. Her well, sign says, we say thank you to all hospital staff, just, and we say thank you to everyone who is staying home. So beautiful. All the staff and everyone who's staying home, thank you. Linda, can you, what's your sign say? I think you're muted, Linda. Let's make you unmuted. Linda, can you, I think, oh, there you go. I'll try it again. It says, 
on one of my watercolors. It says, thank you with a heart and a kiss. <laughs> beautiful. Of course, it's a beautiful piece of art. We would expect nothing uh, less. Let's see who this is. Barbara Rosenberg, what's your sign say? Um, we say thank you to you for all you do. For all you do. Let's see who else. Mrs. Feingold, what's your sign? Your What does your sign say? You have to unmute yourself too. We say thank you to our doctors, our nurses, our healthcare workers. Please stay healthy and safe with love and gratitude from the Feingold family. So beautiful. Mrs. Orlansky, can you, I, I see a specific name on that. I want to make sure you get to say it. Can you unmute yourself? It says, I say thank you to Dr. Ross Ingber, my son-in-law starting in the ICU tonight. And I'm a little nervous. Um, he's doing 12 hour shifts for the next couple of weeks. And um, I'm just hoping he stays well and safe. Lori, we're praying for him and we're praying thank for you. everyone he works with that it is a safe time and that he, he makes miracles happen. Thank you. He's in North, he's in North in mm -hmm. LIJ out in Long Island, and um, yeah. I just hope he stays safe. We're going to be sending those. Um, just a couple more. Does someone want the, for someone from the Mandelbaum family want to tell us? I see, I see maybe an aunt, aunt name yeah. that I want you to get yeah. to share. Yeah, we yeah. want to say thank you to our aunt Elise and Uncle Sanjay, and to all the healthcare workers. We're praying for them too. I know they're working really, really hard in New York. Anyone, anyone else who, um, see, I see a lot of, a lot of great signs. Anyone else? We'll take one more. So it, we're going to say one more prayer for all of our healthcare workers and you can feel free to keep holding up your signs and we'll hold them up, uh, as we get to cheer for them. Get your stall. So with a sense of hope and optimism and above all gratitude, we pray. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Bless all those who put themselves at risk to care for the sick, physicians, nurses and orderlies, technicians and home health aides, EMTs and pharmacists, and bless especially those whose names we know and those whose names we do not, who navigate daily the unfolding dangers of the world each and every day to tend to those they have sworn to help. Bless them in their coming home and bless them in their going out. Ease their fear and sustain them. Source of all breath, healer of all beings. Protect them and restore their hope. Strengthen them that they may bring strength. Keep them in health that they may bring healing. Help them know again a time where they can breathe and breathe without fear. Bless the sacred work of their hands and may this plague pass from among us speedily and in our days and together as one community, you can unmute yourself and join me in saying, Amen. 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 So Tess, why don't you uh, get us to a New York City window so we could see what the city is like as it turns seven o'clock here. And, I'm trying. Uh, a, a few of our neighbors. Siren. What's that? A few of our neighbors have come out, but not many. So we're going to get them out. We're going to be really loud out here. You can hear it here already. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Okay. Let, so let, 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 let's give it up for our medical workers, everyone. Woo! Woo! Okay. Yeah. Guys, let's let yeah. go. Let's, let's get ourselves together. Oh, oh wow. Well, Scott, let's not just clap, let's do everything we can to support our healthcare workers. We're going to stay together as one community the way we always have. And uh, God bless us all. Chag Sameach, everyone. Let yourselves have a sweet Passover. Join our Seder. We don't want you to be alone. And in just about a half hour, we're going to be on with Darren Ravel for our next panel. So come join us. And let's stay together. God bless everyone. God bless. Good night, everyone. Hug Hug Safe, everybody. Hug Get